think it's time for a new reaction video. I think you guys want one too. What is up guys? I am back for a new video today. New reaction, new commentary, new review. And this idea was given to me by a comment in one of my videos. And I thought it was a great idea because I haven't seen this movie in a long time. And as I recall it being a very epic, very gritty, very action-packed, awesome film. And I also think it's a great idea since the new release of Zack Snyder's Justice League just released on HBO Max. And what other way to pay homage to the great director than by reacting and reviewing one of his probably most popular films to date. Uh, the movie I'm talking about today is 300. 300 is a movie that introduced probably Zack Snyder's style of directing and probably is the movie that launched him as a great director. Uh, I know a lot of people love this movie. I'm one of those people. I think it's a great movie. I think it's very epic. I think it's just something that if you want to know what type of style Zack Snyder directs and what type of style he likes making films in, I think this is a great example of that. And yeah, probably no better example than this. But yeah, guys, today I'm going to be reacting to 300. It's a fun movie. That's all I can say. For you guys who have not seen this movie yet, it's a, you're in for a treat. It is a fun movie. A lot of action, like I said. And Gerard Butler kicks ass in this movie. He's the main uh, character. And yeah, guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. But yeah, this was given to me by a comment on my YouTube channel. And I thought it was a great idea. And I'm just here to react to it upon his request. Also give you guys a short review after the film. But yeah, guys, you know why I'm here. You know what I'm about to do. As always, I'm going to be commentating on this movie, reacting to it, and then after the film, give a little short review and see how the movie holds up. 2007, sometime, sometime ago, but for memory's sake, I, I do recall this movie being very awesome, and I don't think it will have any, I don't think it will have any problem with it not holding up to today's standards. Maybe maybe the graphics wise, but we'll have to judge that for ourselves. But yeah, guys, we're about to watch 300. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is the birth of King Leonidas. My gold Spartans, he was inspector. If he'd been small or puny, hmm. sickly or misshapen, he would have been discarded. But he was born like a king, I bet, huh? Shoot. Dude, he was... Look at that guy. That guy probably has like 300 pounds on him. Doesn't look like he's taking crap from him, though. Look at him. Look at that look. Oh, this kid's born a fighter. Dude, he's looking at that shield like that's his calling. Honestly, I don't even remember this opening, so I'm probably not going to remember a whole lot of this movie. So you guys are going to get a sincere reaction out of me. Is this customary in Sparta? The boy was taken from his mother, plunged into a world of violence. This kid has seen some stuff. By rod and lash, the boy was punished. Oh, to show He's going through a lot more crap than any of us have gone through probably in our whole entire existence. Dude, he, all he has is that little cloth covering his uh, <laughs> private parts. He's out of the, He must be freezing to death. How did he survive this? Especially with a wolf right next to him? Oh, is that going to be his meal for the night? Ah, uh, goodbye. Oh, poor Wolf. But Wolf was going to make him dinner anyway, so... Either kill him or be eaten. Oh. Damn. Right through the head. Headshot. Yeah. They're telling the story about his uh, upbringing. Okay, I'm just... I want to say something because I have it on my mind right now. In middle school, one of my friends made this play and he, like, wrote this script. And we had to perform it in class and we made a video for it called 299 and 2 thirds. And this is bringing back a lot of memories because it was kind of like a, a spoof off this movie. And we were way too young to ever see this movie. But I think we made it in a form or in our image what we thought this movie would be like in a funny aspect. And that's what my friend made, and it, it was really hilarious. I have the I have the DVD somewhere, <laughs> but this is bringing back memories because we all play different characters of this movie, but uh, also with funny names. 
I think that's Leonidas all grown up. So is it like just normal for all the kids to get a buzz cuts like that? <laughs> Respect and honor. Something every kid should be taught. Before you speak, Persian, know that in Sparta, everyone, even a king's messenger, is held accountable for the words of his voice. What message do you bring? Earth and water. What does that even mean? Earth and water. Oh! Oh! She just told him. I guess women didn't really have that much of a privilege back then. So... <laughs> She kind of stomped all over his ego. Boy lovers? What the hell is up with that? That doesn't sound good. I feel that fa that famous line is coming up soon. The one where they kind of made it uh, a gif, a, a meme. I mean, every I feel everybody knows this line. Probably thinking about the best interest for his people, right? Oh yeah, there's the whole... Dude. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's coming right now. Dude, you're standing right in front of the pit, too. What did you expect? Goodbye. <laughs> Dude, why do they even have that hole for this specific reason? Oh my god. God, this is totally Zack Snyder, though. This type of imagery. I know uh, Frank Miller made this. This was a comic, right, I believe? So Frank Miller was the one who wrote this. But the type of way this movie is looking so far is just totally Zack Snyder. Oh god, what is that? Look at all those warts and pimples and whatever those are. The evils. Priests to the old gods. Hmm. Inbred swine. And Inbred. The king has gone to war without the evil's blessing. Huh. Oh, so he knew war is coming after what he just did. I hope for our sake they exaggerate. If all your plans are... Oh god. What do you offer? No, you gotta pay him off, right? Gold? Oh. Did he know initially that he's only going to have 300 Spartans behind him? Because he said they're going to fight a battle with like so many other people like uh, to fight against. I feel like uh, Leonidas doesn't fear it, no man. So like, even if he already knew that they were going to go in battle with only 300 Spartans, I don't think it would matter because he would be like so cocky knowing that his men are like the toughest. Disgusting. Damn, so he already was told beforehand that they're going to lose even, even before they went into this battle. And when Sparta burns, you shall bathe in gold. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is pretty scary. That's not. That's that's a man naked in front of the moon. Slave and captive of lecturers, old man. The oracle's words get set fire to all the time off. So that is when the king loses sleep and is forced from the warmth of his bed. Dude, he was just told they're gonna lose the battle. So what do you think is going on in this head? We are with you, sire! For Sparta! Wait. For freedom! To the death! Is that what's his name? Is that like one of his first roles? Magneto? He is your son. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so the, does that mean he's expendable? Just because you have other sons, you can uh, risk his life for death? Dude, to hear your dad say that right in front of you? That's pretty f messed up, don't you think? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. The evils have spoken. That must be no march. It is the law, my lord. What should we do? What can we do? Nothing. What can you do? Exactly. You're going to tell King Leonidas he can't do something? He could totally destroy you. You're not gonna tell the king not what uh, what he can and can't do. 
she knows he knows that there's a huge chance that he's not coming back. Well, I hope those uh, capes are pretty thick to keep you warm, because you guys are going to need it. Ralph Hammonies. Ralph Reed. I heard Sparta was on the warpath. We want you guys to join forces. You. Yeah. What is your profession? I'm a potter. Hmm. What is your profession? Sculptor, sir. You? They're not... Blacksmith. They're not even fighters. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> ah, all the same profession. That's pretty badass. I feel like uh, Leonidas is the type of guy to have very vivid and scary dreams. So it keeps him up at night or maybe doesn't even let him sleep at all. <laughs> Dude, who the hell is this guy? See, honestly, I don't remember any of this movie. I saw this movie a long time ago. What is it? What are they looking at? What the hell are they looking at? Show us! Huh. Freaking Leonidas does not back down. What the hell, man? It's something you'd see in hell, probably. Alright, true question. Do you think every guy in this movie is that ripped? Or do you think, uh, you think some of it is CGI? Because honestly, I feel like every person in the 300 Spartans would have to have, like, a personal trainer to get that cut. <laughs> Takes a lot of work. I will do my best to gather our counsel. And this chamber shall be filled with your voice. I'm in your debt. No. Leonidas is my king. Hmm. As well as yours. It's funny seeing the queen as a brunette, because like I've seen her so much in Game of Thrones that I'm used to her the actress being a blonde. I'm her name is escaping me, but I know that's uh uh the God, I forgot her name in uh, Game of Thrones, but the mean person. They're not scared to death, man. They welcome it. That's a person that you don't want to mess with. A person that is not dis a scared to die. And do you think your pathetic wall will do anything except fall like a heap of dry... Dude, you're talking a lot of shit, man. You better back it up. Huh. It's made with people. Well, not at the moment, because uh, I feel like you're about to die, man. Dude, Fassbender's about to cut his head off, huh? Oh, God, what did he cut? Oh, his arm. Dude, he's smiling. That's not a good sign. Hmm. Great line. Oh, here he is. Oh, what is that? Looks like one of the creatures from the Hills of Eyes. I humbly request an audience. I'll skill you where you stand. I gave no such order. I beg you, O King, to permit me. So he was a Spartan, but he was cast out. My father trained me. Find thrust, raise your shield. He can't. Uh he's not useful, man. Now it's coming back to me. Now I remember after this scene, I think, a lot of the movie. Uh, poor guy. He just wants to serve his king, but he can't. He's unable to. Uh, is he gonna seek vengeance on that now? Because he won't be allowed to fight in battle? I think that's a big yes. Oh, shoot! <laughs> That's all computer too, man. Those aren't real people, but still, that looks so freaking cool. Imagine if they had so many more warriors. Because Spartans look so much more badass than the Persian army, whatever they are. No. Are you kidding me? You can go suck it. Oh, shoot. They uh, drew first blood. Honestly, I'm just saying it right now. I don't know if I can show a lot of this, uh, the action scenes, because I think there's going to be a lot of gore. Plus, this movie's rated R, so I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully not too much gore, because I kind of do want to show these scenes. Honestly, this kind of actually gives me another good idea for maybe another reaction movie, if you guys would want it. Um, 
Gladiator. That's one of my favorite movies, and I know it's kind of similar, kind of similar to uh, this, and I think that would be a good reaction for me. Let me know if you guys want that. Like I said, this is pretty epic. The slow mo action, uh, killing scenes. Snyder all the way. Ooh, damn. Took off his leg. <laughs> Bye. One by one they fell. Not even close to getting the whole job done. Shit. That is scary. This is one epic movie. I hate saying the same quote over and over again, but it truly is epic. Aw, poor horses. Damn. That's a good start. Who's coming up behind her? Dude, this guy can't be trusted, man. This guy's giving me bad vibes. Wow, is that a threat? Sound like a threat to me. This guy doesn't look like he's ever fought in his life. God damn! This guy's huge. Ew, don't touch him. That's weird. Get your hands off him. What's your power? Oh, I bet you could. I feel uh, Leonidas won't give in to what you're telling him right now, though. Hmm. <laughs> He's not gonna do it. I mean, I, I remember the ending. I know what happens at the end, but I'm trying to recall if something else happens, occurs from their uh, fight. I hope Xerxes gets what's coming to him, because he's a freaking ass. Dude, they look like ninjas. Oh, do they know how to cut nails? The deadliest fighting force in all of Asia, the Immortals. Huh, the Immortals. More wounds and weariness have taken their toll. The Mad King throws the best he has in us. Are they hiding behind the wall? Yeah, they are! Oh, God. Bye-bye. Well, they only killed one of them, though. Who, who is that guy in chains, though? I want to know what uh, that abomination of a creature was. Oh, he wants to be let loose. He's ready. Oh, my God. What is this? Watch out! Nice. Nice. Nice block. Is that his, yeah, that's his son. Dude, he even put down his own member, his own teammate. Oh, well, they are ugly. There's nothing end for this monstrosity of a creature. Oh, oh, right in the muscle. Too. Oh my God, dude, that looks so painful. Nope. Dude, he's Leonidas, man. He's not going to go down without a fight. Stab. Nice. Right in the eye. Right in the eye. Right in the face. In the face. Oh, my God. Good night. Dude, like I said, so, so epic. Ooh. I wonder how long this battle is going to last. Oh, I got a little scar there. Makes him look badass, though. Who's behind Pride Forward? Those in front cry back. <laughs> Those in front cry back. Dude! A rhino? Are you serious? Freaking uh, Xerxes buys all these people, huh? Oh, right in the rhino's head. Right in the rhino's head. Come on. You got it. Right down the middle. Good night. Dude, Xerxes has probably no end to his army he bought all these people i guarantee it like he like persuaded them in a certain way where it's like an offer they could not refuse he's like you do this for me i'll give you endless gold and your families will live luxuriously it's kind of a wimp move though for xerxes not to fight his own battle i mean you can see how badass leonidas is and then you see xerxes just standing at the top of the rock looking down at all his warriors falling uh before the 300 Spartans. 
back to Xerxes' feet. Yeah, get pissed, man. Why don't you fight your own battle? An elephant now? Are you kidding me? A, a rhino first, and now an elephant? Dude, these Spartans, man, they can fight. Like, no tomorrow. Hmm. Oh, shoot. As soon as he said that, too. As soon as he, he was proud of his son. Dude, really? That had to happen right there. Dude. Dude, he wants vengeance. He's gonna start knocking guys off one by one. Oh my god. God, that was pretty ruthless what he just did. I wonder what number they're down to. Maybe like 200 now? Hmm. Oh, Xerxes is gonna play off this on a huge level. He's gonna use this guy to his advantage. Hmm. See? Exactly. I knew he was going to get vengeance on uh, Leonidas. Dude, this guy gives me weird vibes. Is he working for uh, Cersei? Yeah, she doesn't want anything to do with this guy. Dude, he's giving her those uh, bang me eyes. Oh, that's why he's here. Ooh, damn, he kind of deserved that. Dude, what the hell? You can't do that. She's a queen. What's he What's he gonna gain from this? Oh, shoot. Dude, don't do it. Dude, I told you he was giving me those eyes. Mm, they found out. They're ready, though. Dude, they don't back down, man. Haven't you found that out by now? Hmm. They welcome death. If I was to get behind a warrior, like any warrior, I would want my uh, my leader to be like Leonidas. Dude, the dude does not back down from anything. Hmm. Oh, well, he's going to survive this. He's definitely going to survive this, because he's going back home. Hmm. In hell. <laughs> I remember that line. They're going to have a lot to eat tonight, because they're about to battle freaking a thousand more people to fight from uh, Xerxes and the Persians. I, I guarantee the guy is going to double cross her and not back her up. He just wanted to, he just wanted to bang her. Dude, this freaking prick. Oh, what? See, I knew he was gonna double cross her. What a prick. He knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, she, honestly, though, she should have resisted him, man. She shouldn't have gave her body up like that so easily. I know she wanted to do right by uh, Leonidas, but... I, I had a feeling he was going to use this against her. Oh my god, she got the last laugh, though. Dude. Oh. Shoot. He, he got paid off by uh, Xerxes. Dude, is this the last battle? I feel like the last battle is the most uh, awesome out of all of them. The God King. Only a self-proclaimed person would call him that. Dude, you're just, uh, you're honestly this wasting your breath, honestly. It's not phasing Leonidas. You can tell by his face. He doesn't want any of this. He wants bloodshed. He wants to, he wants his people to be free and not fall under the rule of uh, Xerxes. Dude, that stare is scary. Not even a blink. What's going to happen here? I hope he gets to at least kill Xerxes. Really? He dropped it? I don't remember that. Wait, what? I honestly don't remember this. There you go. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. Yes. Oh, please hit him. Hit him right in the freaking head. Oh, damn it. 
As I recall, gods don't really bleed, man. So, uh, you're bleeding. Damn. Well, he's gonna go see his son now. Nice. Uh, this is the end, isn't it? This is a true king, though. My respect goes to Gerard Butler's portrayal of uh, Leonidas. Look at that. Look at that imagery. Ah, damn. They fought a good battle, though, man. My respect goes to the Spartans. The music kind of reminds me of Gladiator, too. Now the son's gonna grow up without a father. Without a father. Remember why we died. Their legacy is gonna live on forever. <laughs> Clearly, I don't know. How would you feel though? You were the last living Spartan who fought in that battle against um, the Persians, and like you have to live and tell their story. Like, wouldn't you feel like you would want to be on that battlefield with them and die alongside your king? I feel it's like it's a heavy burden to hold on your shoulders. I mean, I guess you still get to live to see another day, right? So I guess they have new Spartans now. Looks like a lot new Spartans. So the battle's not over, huh? That's a lot more than 300 now. Dude, like I said in the beginning, if they had a lot more than 300, th dude, nobody could match them. There we go. That is epic, man. Really epic. I'm gonna keep using that word. Epic, epic, epic. Awesome. Zack Snyder did it again. I think I'll just quote myself one more time. One more time before I do the short review. Did I say it was epic in the beginning? Because I don't think I've said it enough to tell you how epic this movie is. But what did I say it was epic? Because it was epic. Yeah, guys, we just wrapped up 300 by Zack Snyder. And what can I say? Like I said, I said it was epic. It was epic. Honestly, I didn't remember a lot of stuff that went on in this movie, especially from the beginning to when he was a kid and his training to the end where, like, he bowed down to Xerxes, but it was just kind of like a distraction for them to attack. But I do remember them all dying because, like, everybody knows the the story about the 300 Spartans and how they all fought the Persian Empire and then they all died. It's just, like, it's a myth, but it's, it's a fun story to have heard and so it's it's cool it's really cool so to re-watch 300 for i'll be honest i've only watched it one time in my life one time in my life i've seen 300 the movie and it was probably a long time ago probably when i was in high school and being refreshed like having having rewatched this and not remembering a whole lot of what was in this movie i i pose to have a really fun time with this movie again so it's really cool rewatching this movie and i really enjoyed it and i'm glad someone requested it in the comments for me to uh react and commentate on this movie because i had a fun time with it i enjoyed it i think it was a great time and i really would try to rewatch this movie in the future again it's based on a novel by frank miller a graphic novel but for this to be directed by Zack Snyder, for him to take the novel and put it in a film form, uh, it's just cool to see something off a book come to the silver screen and just, like, in your face. Like, watching this on a movie theater screen, I think, would be fantastic. And that's something I haven't had the pleasure to do. So if I saw this in the movies, I think it would be like the surround system, the the huge screen, just seeing it in a different aspect ratio, I think would have been a great time for a viewing of this movie. There are some movies I highly feel would be a lot better on a silver screen than in, uh, in the viewing of your home. Like I could go off a list right now. I'll, I'll do it briefly. Like uh, right now. Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League. Really wish I could see that on a movie screen, but it's not It's not possible because I live nowhere where a movie theater is open at the moment. And so I'm just going to have to watch it from the comfort of my own living room. But I really wish it could be possible to see that in a movie theater. Because I really enjoyed the... Well, I didn't really, but I enjoyed the first Justice League, the, the weed in cut. But other than that, um, Kong vs. Godzilla, that's a movie. That's a movie I might take a trip down to my local drive-in movie theater, which is not really local. It's probably like an hour away. But... That looks like a movie that needs to be witnessed on a huge silver screen format. And I think I might take that drive to go see it in a drive-in movie theater. Because like I said, there's no movie theaters open yet near me. So yeah, that's another movie. Um, and even if Kong vs. Uh, Godzilla isn't a great movie, I think the action and just the seeing it on a huge screen and hearing... Well, I can't really hear surround sound because I'm going to be listening to it in my car. But... 
if it was in a surround sound place, it would the the experience would just be ten times better. Yeah, I might have to take that drive. But other than that, also uh, a movie that was made a long, long time ago that I will take my father's word for it because I wasn't alive when it came out in theaters. But Top Gun. Top Gun is a movie I my father told me that is a, a film that you need to experience in the movie theater because just the sound of the jets and just like that whole how they take off and how they land and it's just it's awesome and it it's meant for movie theaters and that's I think why it's such a huge classic still to this day. Top Gun is a movie that needs to be experienced for the first time in a movie theater and I think that's why Paramount is waiting so long to release Top Gun Part Two, uh, Maverick with uh, Tom Cruise, is because they want to wait till theaters all over the world to reopen because that's how you need to experience this movie and i don't blame them man i really honestly if they waited for the uh, snyder cut to be released in theaters i would not fault them i would i would wait i would take that time to wait till all movie theaters are open for me to see that movie in theaters because i know it will be worth the wait especially with the aspect ratio i forgot how they shot it but it's a it's a it's a movie theater aspect ratio and so like to watch that in a movie theater i think would just totally be worth it and 300 falls under this category that's what i'm getting at 300 is a movie i think that would really take a huge advantage of being seen for the first time by a viewer in a movie theater this just the action the music the soundtrack the the score if you will everything about this movie screams it needs to be seen in the movie theater and i think that falls on snyder because like his type of movies are meant to be seen in a movie theater like uh watchmen movie theater justice league snyder cut movie theater even sucker punch yeah yeah say what you will about that movie i saw it i didn't hate it i thought it was a fun time sucker punch deserves to be in a movie theater um what else can i say uh, his other movies 300 like I said, deserves to be in a, seen in a movie theater. Yeah, his type of directing style really takes a huge advantage from being seen in a movie theater. Like uh, Batman vs. Superman. Love it or hate it, it happened. And I, I actually really, I think it's not a bad movie. I think it's a fun time, especially in the movie theater. When I saw it in the movie theater, Batman vs. Superman, what more could you ask for? It was a fun time. Loved it in the movie theater. Great sound system. Great picture. It's just, yeah. Snyder really thrives off the movie theater. 300, man. Um, the whole story about uh, 300 Spartans taking on the Persian Empire, it's just something that will live on for a long, long, long time and will be told to children at a very young age. I still, th I, I would tell the story to my kids. I mean, it's it's a fun story. It's awesome. I mean, I learned about it in school. Um, so it's just something that has withheld the test of time the mythology of the 300 Spartans versus the Persians. And seeing the 300 Spartans face all these Persian warriors, it's just cool to see that they really did not back down at all. And it's, it, it is awesome to know that these warriors took on this many Persian warriors and fought through a lot of them until the last battle, which they just... I, honestly, I think it's they were tired is what happened. It's just, It took a toll on them. I feel like the the fighting and just like how long they've been out there fighting against these Persian people. Uh, time, time, man. Time is what beat them. Because um, you could see King Leonidas really did not give up no matter what. Um, even when you thought he bowed down to Xerxes, nah, he still had a trick up his sleeve. Going on Gerard Butler's uh, portrayal as uh, King Leonidas, d the dude can be a total badass i don't know why he's not in more movies uh as of lately because like i i no, I, I take that back he is has been in more movies but kind of lower budget movies not really movies that you would hear about like on a big budget level because um i think the last movie that was like a huge budget level for him was gods among us i think that was the movie he he was a part of i think it was another mythological type movie and um yeah, that movie sucked. I, I never watched it, but I heard the reviews for it, and, like, nobody liked that movie. Um, but the most recent movie I've seen him in is Greenland. I watched it at home. That's a movie I think would have thrived off the movie theater, but, of course, we were in quarantine and COVID. Um, but I watched that at home, and that was a fun time. He was also in another movie, a type of movie like Greenland. It's kind of like an apocalyptic-type film that is about the end of days and stuff like that. And it was another movie like that that I heard didn't really didn't do that great. It came out fairly recently before Greenland, but 
yeah, that movie didn't do good, but it was a similar similar um, thing I feel about like the weather changing and like Geostorm was the movie I think that what it was called with a Gerard Butler. But yeah, he he took a similar approach to those two movies. But Greenland is a fun time. I recommend that to anybody who hasn't seen it. It's it's not a movie that you really should think about a lot, but it's a movie that you would enjoy. And it's just a fun time. Something you need to turn off your brain. It's a popcorn flick. But yeah, Gerard Butler is a is an actor that has taken kind of a dip in his popularity. Uh, he hasn't been taking huge roles or given huge roles. But his acting style has kind of maintained uh, a steady pace. And I like him as an actor. I kind of compare him to Russell Crowe. Him and uh, Russell Crowe, I th- feel, are kind of the same type of actors. I mean, they kind of look alike, too, if, I, if I'm being honest. And I'm a huge Russell Crowe fan, and I like Gerard Butler. And his portrayal as uh, King Leonidas, awesome. He's, he's, a, he's an awesome actor. He's a totally badass dude in this movie. Ripped to shreds. So, yeah, his portrayal of the king, his, him taking no shit from no one, being the leader of his uh, Spartans, and just uh, looking out for his people. Yeah, they picked, uh, Snyder picked a good actor. If he, he did the, the list of, uh, people portraying the characters in the movie yeah he picked a he picked a good lead in man and i'm not really going to talk about too much about the other actors because like there's a lot of 300 there's a lot of actor dudes that um stood out to me uh, for instance fastbender he was pretty cool in this movie but i think i'm just gonna highlight over gerard butler and then uh lena hetty as um queen gorgo that's that's who else I'm going to highlight over. She was a tough son of a SOB. <laughs> She's a tough queen. She doesn't take crap. She she probably gets that a lot from uh, King Leonidas. Uh, he probably rubbed off on her, but the uh, she she is a queen I would want to have. Uh, she she looks out for her people just as much as uh, King Leonidas looks out for his uh, warriors. So them put together, the, they probably make a dynamic duo, a strong couple. And both their acting styles mesh with each other. Um, Lena Headey, like I've said, I've seen her in Game of Thrones. She was a really asshole in that show, but shows that she's a good actress. If you can really hate her on screen, that means she's playing the role correctly. Um, but her as the queen, yeah. her She just kind of is a female portrayal of King Leonidas, in my beliefs. I think she was perfect casted as the queen. Both actors did a great job. Fun movie, like I said. 300 a fun time. I'm really glad I rewatched it, and I hope you guys like my reaction and my commentary towards this movie. But I know there is a sequel to this movie, 300 Rise of the Empire. I know it didn't do really that great, but let me know in the comments if you guys want me to react to that, because I've never seen it before in my life, and the reason why I've never watched it is because I've heard the reviews, and I've heard people talk about it and say that it's not really that great, and I don't think you need to watch it, but if you guys want to see me react to it, let me know in the comments. I know it's not directed by Snyder, but I think it is written by him if i recall correctly but yeah let me know in the comments but other than that guys yeah this has been my reaction for 300 i really enjoyed my time with you guys i had a fun time with it it's an epic movie like i said last time i'm gonna say epic um but yeah guys um as always hit that like button if you guys uh dig this reaction video and if you guys want to see more reactions to movies like this like the you know like the whole roman kind of greek spartan type films um like i said in the in my commentary if you guys want to see me react to gladiator let me know because that is one of my top five movies i love that movie it, it's honestly one of my favorite movies and russell crowe is great in it and so is joaquin phoenix probably he got snubbed for the academy award in my opinion on that movie uh joaquin phoenix said great in that movie alongside russell crowe but yeah let me know honestly if you guys don't even let me know in the comments i might even do it because i love that movie so much and i really want to watch it again because i haven't seen it in a while but yeah guys hit a like button if you like what you saw today as well as hey as always if you guys are enjoying my content hit subscribe you guys won't have to uh, do anything else it's free and you get notified every time i post a video so might as well do it if you're enjoying the stuff but as I said, leave in the comments what you guys thought of 300. Let me know if you guys want me to see me react to Rise of the Empire. I think that's what it's called. Um, and also let me know if you guys have any more recommendations for me as to what movies you want to see me react to. But other than that, I hope you guys are always having a great day. Briefly, almost, almost forgot, but I did not forget. Briefly, what do I give 300? I give it a solid A. Yes, this movie deserves an A. Great movie. One of Snyder's best, honestly, in my opinion, uh, alongside Watchmen, and yeah, great job on uh, Snyder's part. A movie for me. Does it hold up? 
Honestly, I think it does. I think it still is a fun time to the day. It doesn't have anything that I feel like people wouldn't agree upon in today's day and age. And I feel like it is something that wouldn't be really a movie that would be like canceled, if you will, because I know that's the type of thing going on nowadays but i don't think i don't see anything wrong with this movie the graphics still hold up in my opinion the imagery is great just the picture the whole look the aesthetic of this movie is just great in my opinion i really approve of this movie 300 is a fun time i give it an a definitely holds up in my opinion and i hope you guys agree with me but yeah like i said hope you guys are having a great day just wanted to get that in there one one second before I shut down this uh, review because uh, I remembered it at last minute. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.